New signs of potential trouble here on the Korean Peninsula. South Korea's National Intelligence Service briefed lawmakers on Monday, telling them that they have detected... This is a Fox News alert. I'm Brett Baer in Washington. We will have complete coverage of the southeast Texas flooding from Hurricane Harvey in just a moment. But first tonight, we begin with another missile launch from North Korea. South Korea's news agency now says the North has fired an unidentified type of ballistic missile today. And there are now multiple reports that the missile may have flown over Japan. That is a major development. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin is at the Pentagon with late-breaking details. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Brett. The Pentagon is still assessing the trajectory of this latest missile fired from North Korea. As you mentioned, Yonhap, South Korea's news agency, first reported within the last hour that the missile was fired somewhere um, close to Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. It flew toward Japan. There are reports from the ground uh, in Japan uh, that it actually flew flew over northern Japan. The Missile Defense Agency here at the Pentagon uh, put out a, a report suggesting that the missile had in fact flown over Japan. This is the 18th missile fired by North Korea since the start of the year and comes just days after President Trump warned North Korea not to do more. This is what he said at a rally on Tuesday. Kim Jong-un, I respect the fact that I believe he is starting to respect us. I respect that fact very much. Respect that fact. And maybe, probably not, but maybe something positive can come about. The timing of the uh, missile uh, being fired tonight uh, coincides with the 10 days of military exercises between uh, U.S. forces and South Korean forces. The North Korean diplomats at the U.N. tonight have complained and called for the U.N. Security Council to, uh, to investigate those exercises. They claim that those are provocative exercises, that they are practice for an invasion. What's also notable about tonight's missile launch is that it comes also just days after Secretary of State Rex Tillerson had suggested that U.N. sanctions had changed Kim Jong-un's behavior. Here's what he said. I think it is worth noting that we have had no missile launches or provocative acts on the part of North Korea since the unanimous adoption of the U.N. Security Council resolution. And I want to take note of that. I want to acknowledge it. I'm, I uh, am pleased to see that the regime in Pyongyang has, has certainly demonstrated some level of restraint that we've not seen in the past. North Korea first fired a missile over Japan in the 90s. It was a type of dong and it got the world's attention. Uh, if, in fact, the Pentagon can confirm that the missile flew over Japan, this would be the third time that they've done so and will likely uh, elicit a very strong response from the White House. Back to you, Brett. We'll head back for any breaking details. Jennifer Griffin, live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.